So in this video, uh, we'll be looking at how we can uh, draw curved curtain wall systems, because when you draw a curved curtain wall system, you can see it ends up looking like this, and it's segmented, which means that it's made up of a lot of flat uh, panels. So the glass panel here and the mullions themselves are actually straight. Lots of them stitched together create this curve. What we're after here really is um, this curve here. So we've got this nice, gentle sweep all the way around, and framework and the glass itself is uh, actually curved. So to do that, um, just start up a new architectural template and I'm going to go into wall and into here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and curtain wall storefront. I'm actually going to duplicate this. So I'm going to go into edit type, uh, hit duplicate and I'm going to call this one curved. And just click OK and then click OK again. And then when I come back into my properties box, you can now see I've added in this extra um, curtain wall type. Uh, I'm going to draw this uh, up to level one rather than unconstrained. And then to start off with, I'm going to be using the start end radius arc. Click on that and just click, no matter what size or where we're going with this, uh, a semicircle and then have a look at it in 3D. And then you can see this is what we've created, which is pretty standard. Um, so it's lots of segments to create this curve. Uh, for the purposes, I'm going, to get, I'm going to get rid of these level lines. So visibility, graphic overrides, annotation categories, down to L for levels. Click apply, and it just cleans that up. Makes it drawing easier to look at. So to start off with, I'm going to go back into level zero. I'm going to draw two more walls. And this is just so I can change the materials on them. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to find this wall interior, 12 plaster, 100 block 12 plaster. Click on that. And it's going to draw two uh, straight walls, one there and another one there. It doesn't matter where they are or what size they are. Uh, click on any one of them. I'm just going to take this one here, for instance, and edit type, uh, into duplicate, because I don't want to change this one. And I'm going to call this glass uh, 24 millimeters, because that's what I'm going to be producing. Um, a pane of glass that's 24 millimeters thick. Click OK, go into structure, and I'm going to get rid of the outside ones. So the finished ones on the outside. So I'm just left up with this structure in the middle. And I'm going to click on there and I'm going to create glass because that's the material I want it to be. And glass. Double click on that, and the thickness of that will be 24 mil. You can make anything that you want, but 24 mil is pretty good size. Click OK and click OK, and then back into 3D, and you can now see that this is a sheet of glass. I'm going to do the same with this uh, other wall that I had, so I'm going to click on the wall itself, edit type, back into duplicate again, and this one I'm going to call this one... That's it. Get into structure, uh, get rid of the outside ones, delete those, and in the middle here, concrete, change that, and aluminium should pop up. There it is. And this one, I'm going to make this 150 mil thick because that's the size of the mullion type that I'm going to be using. So it's going to be 150 mil thick. Okay. okay, so I've now got a sheet of glass and a sheet of aluminium. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is click on the uh, curtain wall system to start with. And when I go into edit type, uh, I've got this curtain panel. And you can see the third one down in the construction, it says curtain panel, it says none. So just click on that, and then you should now see I've got this aluminium and this glass. These are the two uh, wall types that I've just created. Uh, I'm going to choose glass 24 mil, and click apply. When I click apply, you'll see it change from segmented into curved. And there it goes. So that's created our curved glass, glass itself. What we've got to do now is actually create uh, the framework and the mullions around it. Uh, so again, I'm just going to click on the wall panel system itself. If you struggle with that, just zoom out a little bit uh, and you will click on it. You will find it, there it is. And uh, once you've clicked on it, back into edit type, uh, scroll down and we want the vertical mullions. Don't do the horizontal mullions, we've got to do them slightly differently. So for the vertical mullions, I'm gonna choose the uh, 50 by 150. And that's for all three, 50 by 150. 50 by 150, apply, and then you can see I've now got all my vertical mullions in place. Uh, to do the horizontal ones, if I was to choose uh, the same method as the vertical ones, they would still be segmented, i.e. be straight. What we've got to do now is actually create uh, separate panels for these, 
and then use our aluminium wall to actually create the top. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And at the top here, when I'm in architecture tab, I've got this curtain grid uh, in the top middle, just to the left here, this curtain grid. Click on that. And then uh, when I click, can you see it's, it's dropping dotted lines? If I just follow across the top here, it's dropping a vertical. And if I click on uh, actually on the side, here, can you see I can now put a horizontal? doesn't matter where you place it, just place it to start off with. And around to the left here somewhere, you should see there it is. There's the dimensions for it. And I just want to click on the dimensions. I'm going to change that to 50 mil because that's how thick uh, I want my mullions to be, 150 by 50. And what I've done now is I've created a separate panel all the way along uh, in here. So there's a glass panel here and there's a separate glass panel there. I'm going to do the same for this one here. Uh, so I'm going to come in and drop another one there and click on that 50 mil. And it's the same for the bottom as well. Sometimes I find the bottom one quite hard to find, um, depending on where. There it is. Got it. Sometimes that takes me a little bit longer than that. Click on there and 50. So I've got this bit up. Uh, what I can now do is just escape key twice to stop um, producing any more curtain grid lines. And on any one of these, doesn't matter which one, I'm just going to hover over it. And I'm not going to select anything, just hover over it and use the tab key. And another tab, just keep pressing it until, uh, can you see that top glass panel there? Uh, and then click on it. So we've just got this top one here done. Once I've done that, whilst I'm hovering the mouse over it and it's highlighted blue, just right click. And then I've got this select panels option here. And I'm going to actually uh, select panels along the horizontal grid. And what this does is it selects all of them. So rather than doing each one separately, you can now see that I've got them all selected all the way around. Once I've done that, I can now unpin them. It's really important that you do unpin them, otherwise you won't be able to change it. And then on the left-hand side here in the properties box, I can now change this to my aluminium. And there it goes. And then what you can see now is uh, this mullion is now actually a wall type, but it's made out of aluminium. So it's, and it's the same section as uh, the existing mullions, but they're actually now curved rather than being straight. And then we just do the same for the others. So I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to hover, not click, uh, tab key until that panel goes uh, blue and lift click on it. Once I've done that, I'm going to uh, hover over it again and right click, and then this select panels along the horizontal grid up to the top here and click unpin. And then once I've done that, into the properties box and go aluminium again. And now you can start to see it come together. It's exactly the same for the bottom one, so I'm just going to hover to start off with. Keep pressing the tab key until you get that panel, uh, that small panel, uh, highlighted blue. Left click, then right click on it. And then we're going to select panels along the horizontal grid, uh, up to unpin, and then across again to aluminium over the side there. And now you can see I've got this lovely curved um, ball. Uh, for these ones, I can just get rid of these, get them out of the way, and uh, I can just go into the rear view to see what it looks like. Not so. And that is how you create uh, the curved curtain panel um, without it being segmented.